Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Sword Art Online Re Hollow Fragment. We're gonna go ahead and make our way past all these little beasleys. Oh, let's help these bros out right quick. Why is everything disappearing everywhere? That's what I want to know. Wow, just like Philia said. It really is an indentation, the same shape as the neck was carved into this gate. Beyond the gate is a floating island. It's probably a new area. This is getting exciting. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, something should definitely happen now. Nothing's happening. Hmm, that's weird. Maybe the necessary conditions to trigger the event haven't been met yet. Oh, that's great. Dealing with sealed gates. Each part of the hollow area is sealed by one of these gates known collectively as area gates. Beyond them lies the area boss. Now it's time to find that boss and vanquish it. God, what? They can just travel free? Okay. Uh, so area boss. Not really. Not really. Not really. Not really. Not really. Not really. Alright, how am I supposed to know this area boss? Let's go to the forest maze. I may have to look this up and come back. I don't know how they expect me to just tell where this forest boss is. Check the hollow map very right quick before I try that. Yeah, see, I really don't know. There is a new marker at the Shrine of Offerings. I don't think that was there before, but the area was glowing. Take the trial at the Shrine of the Folk, folk Blood Ritual. Ah, is that what I'm supposed to do to... Okay, maybe that's what I do to get through there. I'm just gonna look it up right quick and I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so it's looking like, um... I didn't look too much into it, but it's looking like that's probably the right thing to do with you. So I guess I'm just gonna have to go back there and uh, actually try to get through, maybe? This door has the same pattern written on it as that necklace. I wonder if it has something to do with that gate at the bridge connecting to the new area. I guess I'll go ahead and try the necklace here. Okay, so I'm guessing the boss is behind this and then we go back over there. Let's see what's inside. Oh yeah. Fairy Gardens. There's a ferocious beast waiting for you up ahead. Are you ready for action? Oh heck yeah. Have you got all the items and skills you'll need? I've got all the items, all the skills I'll ever need. Actually, I'm just kidding, but in real life, hell yeah. Actually, no, that's a lot too. Whatever. Let's go. It's time to put up all... Sorry. It's time to put all you've learned into action and show just what you can do. Alright guys, let's get it. First area boss. Oh god, is that what this is doing? Is that, that where this thing is coming from? That is going to Oh, what the? Oh, no. Uh, ho hold up. Like, wait a minute. Can I move? Can I do it? Like, no. Oh god, what is that? Alright, 
Alright, here we go. Oh, I guess not. God, what is this stupid? No, dude, come on. Alright, well, if I can get close to it, it's not gonna be. Here's what the post I'm doing. Okay, we almost got one more enemy. Keep going in. Yes. our great teamwork that made it happen. Thanks, Felia. Fiery necklace key item lit up. Hey, we lit up. There's a chance that gate might open now. I should go check it out. Area access code verified. You proved yourself as a great player. You don't need my help anymore. Joining forces. At this point, you should have a good idea of what exploring the hollow area entails. Powerful foes awaiting you there, which makes it a good time idea to have a loyal partner ready to fight at your side. Adventure's no fun when you're on your own. Team up with as many other players as you can and take on the harsh hollow area together. So I guess I'm done searching Sylvendis. I think it's time to move on to that next area. If I'm not mistaken, to the far west of Sylvendis is the bridge to Bastia Gate that should take me to the next area. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna make sure that anything I do in the hollow area, I'm doing with Philia. And then, um, early on, I'm gonna do, um, quite a bit with Elizabeth because it's gaining affinity with her that will up her forging. And so I just wanna get her silver hammered. And then I'll be spending my time between, like, Asuna and Skreya and Leafa a little bit because they're like some of my strongest. And then offline, uh, I'm gonna start doing multiplayer more in between, just with a lot of different characters. So I can like <clears throat> mega boost them on up, especially sign on. So then that way throughout this series, since it's gonna be pretty long, I'll be able to uh, use quite a few different characters, I guess, instead of just focusing solely on a few. Like, there will be, like, mainly the same characters, but every now and then I'll switch up to a different character just to have them with me and mix it up a little bit, because everyone's got their different favorites and stuff, and, um, I don't want to hold myself to just a few characters. Although you will still mainly be seeing the same ones, like Asuna, Philia, um, Simstreya, Elizabeth for a while, and Leafa, those will be the main ones that you see, and then every now and then I'll bring in like Silica, Sinon, uh, Klein, and then Elizabeth won't be a main forever, just until I can get her affinity up a bit more. Seems like it takes quite some time to do. Alright, light from the fiery necklace went out. 
All right, the seal appears to have been broken. That means a new area. What kind of monsters and dungeons await me? I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Also, I can't forget about the Karma Restoration Quest. In the end, it wasn't in Sylvindus, but I'll find it for sure. Bastion Gate, Floating Ruin Square. Ooh, I like the music in this area. Nice change of pace. Oh yeah, this place is lit, dude. Look at that, that's so cool. I wonder what the purpose of that tower is. Looks like it's going to be tough just climbing the thing. Oh, the name of the area is Floating Ruins, so I guess there's a reasonable chance we'll find some treasures around here. Let's head for the tower and check it out. Okay, is there a good place around here to save? Or like a... Building... Thingy thing. Check out my... Okay, there's a lot to do. Um, I was hoping there'd be like a teleport crystal around here. Let me look at that. Look at that map again. Yeah, there is one here to be. Um, just maybe if I go forward a bit more. Oh, no, there was a treasure chest. How do you get to that? Ah, oh, like that, I guess. Two handed sword, blazing sword. Didn't think that was going to work out there. See if there's a crystal nearby. Oh, it's right in front of us. Cool. Let's sneak around these guys. And there it is. Sweet. Alright, yeah. We're gonna make our way to the administration area so it saves like that. And then in the next one, we'll. Oh, do high difficulty something. I accidentally pressed X to skip. Grand Quest for Worthy Successor. I'm assuming that's what it meant. Um, in editing, I'll probably try to slow mo that bit for a second, so I can actually, uh, so you guys can actually see it easier. What it just said, and then I'm also gonna take a look at it, so that way I'll know in the next video uh, a little bit more about what that is. But um, until next time, guys, as usual, hope you've all been enjoying the series so far. And if you have, don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications, do all that good stuff. I will see you guys next time.